Hello, 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 my crafty buds. It's your crafty bud, Peggy. And we're going to play us a game of what Stormy been shopping for. <laughs> Guys, I got in an order from uh, scrapbook.com that I've been waiting for. Um, God, I feel like we are like... <clears throat> There, now I feel like we were way up in the, down on the ground or something. <coughs> Guys, I was on scrapbook.com the other day, and I fell in love with this wonderfully wicked line that's out there, guys, and I bought everything I could find. I'm wanting to make me a, um, a little haunted house scene. Uh, I don't know if y'all seen the video of the house that I made one of my daughters with a mini album hidden inside of it. I like doing stuff like that, and uh, I got some stuff this year so that I can make some cool cards with and some, uh, you know, like 3D creations to put a haunted house mini album in, and I thought this paper is sensational. I just, I loved it. So uh, this is what I did, guys. Now the paper line comes with one of these sticker sheets here. And I bought two extra ones so that I could turn them into embellishments and tags and stuff. But this is what the sticker sheet looks like, y'all. It's got your alphabets down there and just awesome little tags. I just love this. And again, guys, this is wonderfully wicked. I just love this line. I tell you, I saw this and went crazy after it. Now, this don't go with the line, guys. But I thought what I'm going to do with this is scan this in on my printer and make me a master copy of this so I'll always have these. So good idea, guys. Uh, if some of y'all, if you hadn't thought about that, uh, some of your favorite papers and stuff, make you a master copy. And then, you know, if you got a printer, and then you can have it, you know, and you won't have to keep buying it. I got this one here. This is from Reminisce, and it's called Halloween Greetings. And you've probably seen some of these tags, y'all. I love them. They're old and vintage and stuff. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get me this sheet and scan these in and make me a bunch of copies of these so I have them. And I like getting the master copy of these because they're more crisp and the colors are bright and vibrant, you know. And, and I can print this off again and again and I'll have those. And then here's what the uh, wonderfully wicked line looks like, guys. This is the front cover, of course. You see why that caught my eye, boy. I tell you. And this is from Bow Bunny, a uh, wonderfully wicked uh, collection. And again, it comes with a sticker sheet. And then you've got these awesome, I mean, just look at these awesome graphics on these. I just love this. I can't wait to get started. You get two sheets of each. And I just love it. I, I can see a lot of stuff that I... Look at these. I mean, are these not scrum sumptuous right there? God, I love those. And like I said, two sheets. You know, I'm like really excited about this. This is the kind of paper I like that has the tags and the stuff like that with it, like Graphic 45 and Heartfelt Creations. That's what I'm all about. Boy, I love it. Cut your tags out. They're already done for you. You know, most of your work is done. And it looks so good. Look at them bats. Isn't that cool? I just love this, don't y'all? I fell in love with this dang uh, pad whenever I saw this. I went, man, I'm going to have to have that. Boy, I just, I can't deal with it. I told Rue I was a bad girl. I spent $100 <laughs> and got me a bunch of Halloween paper because I just could not stand it. Had to have it. Check that out. The Haunted Library. This goes with this one, I think like that i mean you could do whoops there i could see me doing like a like a library page with those two can't you i think we just had a wreck or something out here wow i hope everybody's okay geez that's worrisome here where i live guys i'll tell you i've always laughed and said they need to film the world's worst drivers episodes here because i don't know how in the world these people live i'm not kidding you whoo they scare me to death out here i stay in the house a lot <laughs> i don't get out there amongst them they scare me mark says my imaginary break and stuff works really well he said as i get older he's gonna have to start blindfolding me and put me in the back seat where i can't see nothing <laughs> Guys, I bought a couple extra of these vellum. This is made out of vellum here. 
all these tags, and I just loved this. I thought, ooh, I have to have that, so I got me two of those. And that's the collection, guys, of the uh, Bow Bunny Wonderfully Wicked. And um, they, of course, add you a, a thing in there telling you about the new Nouveau drops and stuff. They look pretty interesting, these Look at the colors on those and stuff. They look like they'd be really gorgeous. Yummies. And then, guys, uh, oh, yeah, and then they're touting up their new LDRS uh, line, which is really, it's beautiful. I think that this right here is scrumptious, I think. And then, guys, to go with my haunted uh, house scene I was telling you about, I got the uh, Tim Holtz Sizzix Big Dies. I got two of these, $17.99 a piece. They had these four, which really isn't bad for these. And this is what the cottage looks like. I just love that right there. And then I got the roofs to go with it. It comes, this comes with three different styles there that I, <coughs> excuse me, that I can do of the roofs. So I can do my big graveyard scene and stuff. And then, guys, uh, oh, and then they added me a 5% off uh, Echo Park. I guess that paper's pretty. <laughs> I haven't never looked at none of it. Then I saw this, guys, and I was like, huh, I have to have this. I think this was $12. But this makes trifold cards, y'all. And what it is is these, you get all three of these. And these are like the doors that shut, and then when you open it up, you see the big uh, mansion in there. And I just thought, this is perfect. I love this for cards. So I went ahead and got this. And uh, like I said, it's for the trifold cards. I just thought this was awesome. This is by Art Impressions. It's unmounted. Um, but I just love this. It comes with the instructions and everything to tell you how to do this and make awesome trifold cards with this stamp set. I love it. So I had to have it. And then to go with my Wonderfully Wicked, I had to have the layered chipboard set that comes with it. That was beautiful. I, I really think I, can't, think I gave like $4 and change for that. And then I bought the double uh, big chipboard set. I, I wanted the entire thing that went with this that I could find. So I bought everything I could get that went with this uh, line here so that I can try and do me a really nice uh, haunted house mini album out of this. This is going to be a nice project. Of course, I'll share that with you guys as I make it. And then I got the ephemera uh, pack that goes with it. It's got all the little cuts and stuff, and this is what comes with the ephemera pack right there. I just thought that was really nice. I hope I'm not blinging you guys with that plastic. But I'll try to let y'all see what you get with these. So if you want to get them, you know, you can get them. And like I said, scrapbook.com is the only place I found that had the entire collection here of the Wonderfully Wicked. That you could get the whole pad uh, set and the chipboard embellishments and the ephemera cards and stuff. I found like uh, pieces. I think they were selling the sheets individually on you on uh, eBay, and I'm I didn't want that. I want as much of it as I can get for the best deal. So, all right, guys, that was it for Scrapbook.com. Uh, that was my awesome haul there. I thought that was pretty good. Um, then my spider sense has got to tingle in you guys, and you know what that means. I headed over to the Salvation Army. That's right, it just kept nagging at me today. So I jumped up and went over there and, uh, spent 40 bucks. I think I did good, though, guys. Uh, the first thing that I got, I got this big old grab bag right here for $5. Guys, this dude's got whole skeins of yarn in here. There's... I'm seeing lace trim up in here. Um, there's uh, organza, ribbon. I see uh, lace, I mean uh, leather, looks like patches. I can probably turn this into a project right here. I see satin down in here. This whole thing is just stuck. Boy, that dude weighs probably about three pounds right there. Five bucks, guys. And then I found this for three bucks, and I thought, you know what? It'd be more aggravation for me to make this dude than, you know, just pay three dollars for it. It's a nice desk organizer, and I love the shape of it and stuff. And I'm going to come through here and put my favorite paper on it and stuff. But 
I mean, this is good and sturdy. It's already put together and stuff. And heck, for three bucks, most of my work's done for me. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go on ahead and get that. And then for two dollars, guys, I got three skeins of this homespun. Ah, uh, you guys know how much this stuff is over at Walmart. I think this stuff's like four or five bucks a, a thing over there. So I got three of them for two dollars. And then for a dollar, guys, I got this big old thing of organza right here. I mean, this is probably two yards right here for a dollar. I mean, that dude is thick right there of that. And I'm thinking I'm going to try to do the burnt flowers out of that. I can't, I'm always collecting material for those burnt edge flowers. I'll have to show you guys those again. Uh, they're a lot of fun, and I love them. And then, guys, I found this for two dollars. I thought, wow, score! Scrapbooking floral embellishments, whole brand new canister of these, two dollars. Look at that! I was like, shoot, yeah, look at all them chipboards in there. I don't know what somebody must have paid for those. There's flowers in there, and everything. It kind of looks like, uh, I don't know. It reminds me of Recollections. They've tore the bottom off of it here, so I don't know what brand portfolio. Glade Memories, or, God, I can't read it, it's so tiny and small, but there's the name of it down there, if you guys can make that out, I sure can't, but shoot, it's a whole brand new, it's never been opened, two dollars, I'm like, score, I ain't never seen stuff like that over there, guys, for four bucks, I bought these shoes, now some of y'all are going, wow, those are snazzy little dudes right there, but you know what I saw on these? These flowers. <laughs> I'm taking these dudes off of here. This whole thing is going, these two are going on mini albums. I'm in love with them flowers. And I thought, you know what, I can take this all off of here. I'm going to totally re-upcycle all of this stuff. I'm going to use this gold on everything. But these flowers right here, and look at that. I can just stand right here and pull that off. I, oh, that's made out of metal, you guys. That's a brad. Look at that. That is heavy and thick. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that dazzler. Oh, you're hypnotized now. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's all I saw on them. I said four bucks. I'm taking them. I'll upcycle them entire shoes right there. But I had to have them flowers. Guys, I found me another one of these portfolios for a dollar. I just love these. I don't know who. Uh, these were $9.99. This is brand new on the back right here. I don't know who's donating these, but bless you. They're already ready to go. All you got to do is just finish up cycling these. And they're wonderful. Uh, look at that. Comes with your paper and everything. Just wonderful little gimme gifts. I just love these. I think these are sensational. I'm going to use... Uh, this is one of my prizes for a challenge. You know, a lot of this stuff, like I said, goes to you guys. So, y'all really benefit from my Salvation Army hauls. <laughs> so, it's good to watch. You might see something that you're going to get. And then, guys, for $2, they got me one of these decorative touch wands. Uh, I can adhere crystals, pearls, nail heads, rind studs, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> this one here is a lot less bulkier than the other ones, and I paid $2 for it. So, I mean, really, I just thought that was a sensational deal right there for the whole thing. For a dollar, I got me some of these awesomely huge doilies. Look at them, guys. I thought, ooh, I'm seeing maybe a tussy mussy rolled up out of these. I, I really like those right there for a buck. And then, guys, I got me a whole package of cards right here. Look how thick that dude is. Cards and envelopes. Uh, you can put little photos or something in these. 50 cents. I mean, really? <laughs> I like those. And then, for a dollar, I got me a whole brand new pick it, uh, pick, uh, package of the uh, Christmas recipe cards. I think these here will be sensational little add-ins for the holidays. For little recipes and stuff, I'll throw in as little whimsies for the, for the girls. And then I found these, somebody had hid these over there, and it says, shopping is a best friend. <laughs> Isn't them cute? I gave 50 cents for these. These were $3.99 originally. Somebody else paid two bucks. I come along, got them for 50 cents. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And then for a dollar, guys, this is fabric covered right here. I just love this. Got an opening like this. Nice little journal right here. I thought I can add a couple more things with this. Got a gorgeous little tassel tie on it. It's like brand new for a dollar. I mean, really, I'm seeing one of the girls on that. And then for a dollar, I got this whole Rolodex, guys. I was thinking, wow, you know, these, this thing is just full of these little cards right here. And I thought, well, heck, I could decorate those up uh, right there. If anybody has another one of them little Rolodex challenges or just decorate these up, I mean, it's full. One dollar. Or I could use this for my little address thing and upcycle that. That's a good idea, too, for you girls. And then, guys, I didn't even know these existed. These are made by Fisher Price. And it's a confetti pack. And it's got its girl and little monkeys and giraffes and tigers and stuff. And this beautiful, beautiful uh, confetti in here. I gave a dollar for these. And I found two of them. Brand new. And I thought, shoot, yeah, man. Can we say shaker cards with those? I love these. And I thought, how much must those cost it? Those are by Fisher Price. I mean, really? Shoo! Those were probably expensive. Uh-oh, they all fell out. And then, guys, I got me a brand new thing of ribbon here. Two sixty-seven. it says on it for 50 cents. It's still wrapped in a plastic. And that's gorgeous uh, brown organza. So that's really pretty. I got this thing about organza right now. I'm all about it. And then, guys, I found me one of these. Um, somebody had started on a picture hanging, it looks like, and I'm going to use it probably as my opening sign. They've already started up cycling it. Paper flowers and stuff. Uh, they've got this gorgeous little floor delay cut out. I mean, I just think that is super gorgeous, don't you? Already done. Um, like I said, paper flowers there. Home is wherever I'm with you. Isn't that cute? I just love that right there. And this is all handmade. Handmade little flowers. Little crafter made that. I just love that. I'll put that little tag back on there and this. And put Stormy on that. I just think that's cute. Two dollars. <coughs> and that's a canvas art. Then, guys. Woo! To cut up. I saw this. And this. I mean, look at all that yumminess on there, you all. I mean, look at all them flowers and stuff. I am so taking this apart. And this whole shirt is made out of these. This sucker is so heavy. But I do not care. That is getting cut up and put on a lot of projects. Uh, most of which is going to y'all. <laughs> then, guys, for four bucks, I found another brand new Martha Stewart punch over there. I found the birthday cake over there not too long ago, and now I found the hat. So now I have the party hat and the birthday cake. Price on the bottom, they stamped over. I can see ten bucks right there. I gave four for it over there. Score. I snatched that, dude. Somebody had that head over there. I find their stuff because I know where all the hiding spots are over there. And then for a dollar, I got a little baggie of dominoes. But I liked them because they're red. So, you know, the backs of these, I mean, the sides and stuff's already colored. I just love that for upcycling. I just thought those would be great. I also found me a brand new thing, a clear Elmer Super uh, Gel Glue over, guys, for a dollar. I was like, seriously? Shoot, yeah. And a new package of the uh, awesome gems here, a quarter. I'm like, shoot, yeah, 75 of those specialty ones. They're in these packages right there. I just love finding those. And then I found another package of these uh, Bellum Quotes. Now, these are expensive. I have another set of these in there that I'm going to use in the boys' books whenever I make it. And these, I want to say, are like $4 and change for these Bellum Quote books. And uh, I gave a buck for this one. So I was like, shoot, yeah, score. And then look what I found. A bunch of already made thank you cards and stuff. I just love that. Already made with the envelope. Score for me. Price on the back was five bucks. I gave a buck for it. And then last but not least, guys, I found a brand new thing. of specialty wine charms that come from one of the stores around here. 
I gave a buck and a half. Uh, the price on the back of this was $8 they marked out. So they got this. These must be little Swarskis or something they look like. But I'll use them for many albums. You know me and Charms. Woo! So guys, that was my awesome mega haul. I uh, hope you've seen some things you like. Maybe you'll get out there and have a look-see. See what you can find. Don't forget to share the love with your local Salvation Army. Like I said, if they ain't got nothing now... Help spread the word. That's what we did around here. I'm telling you, ours sucked whenever I moved here. I'm not kidding y'all. They didn't have nothing. We started touting them up. A lot of people didn't know that they took donations and stuff. We got the words out to the right people, and they started donating. And now we have two Salvation Armies here, and they have really good stuff. So, you know, sometimes a little bit of word of mouth actually does help. So... You never know. So only support your Salvation Army. And they, they do so much. They really do, you guys. Um, guys, those of you that's new to my channel, stick around. We got a lot going on. Uh, we got challenges galore coming up this year. We've got uh, creativity coming out of our eye sockets. So stick around. And guys, those of you that's been here with me, happy Saturday, y'all. And real quick... Um, if some of y'all have been noticing me resubscribing to you, I'm not unsubscribing to y'all. I don't know what in the world is going on with YouTube. Every now and again, I'll pull up my subscribers for my comment list over here on the side, and it shows everybody in a list. And on the side, you'll see every now and again, one of them will say, subscribe, where they've been unsubscribed to. So I'll re-click that. I check that all the time. So, just wanted to let y'all know, I would not subscribe, unsubscribe to none of you guys, okay? I'm glad you're here, happy to have you, and uh, I don't know what's going on, but that's what the deal is. I try to keep up on that, and when I see it, I definitely resubscribe to y'all. So, I don't know if y'all are having that problem or not, I'm finding it irritating myself. But anyways, guys, as I said, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And I love y'all so very much, and I hope you guys are in the best of health and everything is good for you. And until next time, be crafty, be cool, and I'll see you when I'm looking at you, alright? Bye-bye.